For the last year, Ben Needham's mother has said she accepts her little boy is now dead. British police formally ended their search on Kos last October. But now signs of blood have been found on two objects which may have belonged to the toddler. The findings have been shared with his family. We're still trying to obviously pick ourselves up from what, what South Yorkshire Police came as their conclusion to, to the excavation. Um, it's been a tough one, really. We've obviously lived for 25 years in hope that one day he'd walk back through the door. Initial searches of the local area in 1991 found no trace. Over the years, British police would release computer-generated images of Ben, like this one in 2000. But in October 2012, a new excavation unearthed a sandal similar to this, which Ben may have been wearing when he disappeared. And then last September, this rusty toy car, which could have belonged to Ben, was discovered around 750 metres from where he was last seen. The items were brought back to the UK for testing, where human blood was found on those two objects. Could it have been Ben's? A professor at the Institute in Aberdeen who carried out the analysis today stressed to Five News that a vast number of questions are still unanswered. We can't say how much blood, we can't say when the blood, and we can't say who deposited that blood. So all we can say is that there had been uh, some event where blood had actually, um, human blood, had come into contact with that upper surface of that piece of fragment that was found in Kos. Ben's mother, Kerry, says the development proves her son was killed and that his body may have even been moved. Scientists will now try to extract DNA from the unearthed items. It may or may not be Ben's. Julian Drucker, 5 News.